all know each other as, as coaches and you're linked in a lot of different ways, either having worked together or played together before. During the season, how closely do you watch each other? I mean, are you, you're focused on your own team primarily, but you have to pick up things, I would assume, from other coaches along the way. Do you, are you able to watch and admire or critique other coaches' work? Being the, I guess, the youngest coach up here, I, I watch them all, uh, you know, from plays to how they stand, how they carry themselves. I wish I could get down like David. I can't squat down that low. <laughs> even, with a, even with a new hip, if I got down that low, I don't think I could get back up. Doesn't that hurt your knees? Does that hurt your knees when you squat like that? No, I burn a ton of calories. You got them Fitbit things? <laughs> the calories your knees. I try to stay out of people's way, you know, and I got to do have a big butt, so I <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get low. Uh, he gets low. He does. Yeah. Um, but it's, you know, watching these guys and how they handle different situations and with the uh, technology, but also with the mic in the huddle now, hearing what guys say coming down the stretch. Three steps in a row, and we've scored every time. It's all about the D. Keep helping each other. We got to make sure that we're sure. right for sure. and we, yeah. we're ready for that run. Don't let your teammate down by not doing your job. Our physicality needs to go up. All right, let's go. You know, understanding, um, you know, it's different being a coach than a player, um, but also giving confidence, you know, late game when the player comes off the floor and he can see in the coach's eyes that he's not scared, you know, that that's, that's what I rely on. But watching these guys, because they're all good. These are the best in the world, you know. And uh, you can learn from him. And from Q, you know, I was just telling him, you know, watching Q, he's, he's a big brain. He understands defense. Um, we try to steal Rudy stuff. Go, Rudy Gobert understands oh. defense. <laughs> <laughs> that, that helps, too. Uh, but, but it also takes, it starts with the coach and, and having a plan. And, and these guys up here on this stage, they, they, they have a big plan, and they put their team in a, uh, in a position to win. I'm going to embarrass him. Um, when, day, when I started in the D League, I'd come from college, and uh, I can remember a timeout. You know, the rules are different, obviously, and uh, where I drew up this wonderful little under out of bounds play, only to find out the ball was being inbounded <laughs> on the side. <laughs> and, uh, like a lot of the stuff we're talking about, like someone hit a shot and it was a great play. Um, but Dave was coaching in the D League right before I got there. And uh, I had heard from a lot of guys, Mo McComb, who we have a, a, a mutual mentor, that told me to watch him. And, and I did. And uh, particularly, I think, at that point, that was my first you know, year in professional coaching. So to Jason's point, um, I think there's things you can take from everybody. And uh, that's, you know, that's one of the great things about the business is you, you just don't stop learning. Well, I think I can... Uh, say this because I've known Jason for a while now and I played with him for two years. I think he's a little full of it right now. <laughs> and the reason why thought, he is so I thought we, he is I thought so, we were done. No, we're not even. Young coach. Coach. Yeah. You went at me a little bit. You went I thought at me. we were even. He's so competitive, he wants all 29 coaches to lose. <laughs> he's so competitive. Every drill, every game, he wanted to win. I'm telling you, I've seen it firsthand. Appreciate all of these nice things he said about us, but he is so competitive. He wants to win every game, and he's not. He doesn't feel sorry for me when we when he when he beat us by 25 in Milwaukee. Did you? A little no. bit. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I wanted it by 30. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> because you guys are you guys are better than us. But I think uh, yeah, we're all competitive. We all want to win. Um, you know, the one thing that's funny that you bring up, I'm, I'm a little confused. Do we shake hands after the game, win or lose? Like, everybody just waves, like, hey, thanks for the ass whooping. Yeah, this is a good question. <laughs> Honestly, I've never understood the protocol because some coaches will go out of their way to shake hands. Other guys wave. Other guys just walk off. What, what determines your behavior at the end of the game? Uh, where the locker rooms are at. Uh, <laughs> how, you know, it's different, different places, you know. Yes. Also, what I personally try to do, if, it's, if we're playing somebody from the East and it's the second time and I'm not going to see you, then I might try to grab you. Or if it's the last time we're playing against somebody in the, in the West and it's coming down the stretch, Mike, wish you guys the best of luck, you know, good luck mm -hmm. in the playoffs, Q, whatever, yeah. uh, et cetera, et cetera. I went over to see Stan, though, one time. It's on video. It'll maybe run. I put my hand out, and he just walked right on by. <laughs> I don't know what he saw me. What? So I happened, to, I happened to turn with the, like, you know, who whatever look, and the, the video got me.
not like I was offended or whatever, but <laughs> stuff happens and there is a lot of emotion at that time and you don't know that somebody even saw you, you know. Uh, but I try, you try to grab guys. <laughs>